What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, folks. It's Mr. Warmack again in the beautiful building. And, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, I got that message. I didn't know his dad was down there in Cuba. Then again, if you notice... They're all, all in African countries were commies before they became, a lot of them were commies anyway, so I wouldn't doubt that he's, like, as far as visit, visiting Cuba, like, I should have asked you that, maybe I'll ask you that after I do this, but is he visiting, is he living there at the request of the state, there's a lot of stuff going to be going on, but I wouldn't doubt that he's living down there, but, uh, I want to clear something up, and this, this doesn't, this is, this was, people were confused, like, and this isn't just, uh, I made a, when I made the, when I made the black church and, and all that videos, people try to get the myth, the, the notion that I'm generalized, or that I'm painting with a broad brush. Let me, let me, let me give you guys some lessons, which I thought this was common sense. And I'm trying to see, and I'm finding out that common sense is not common. So let me go in. When I, when I said black, the black church is going to send you guys to hell, or when I said the black church is going to render under Caesar or as black dogs, first of all, that stuff I said was true. But now, I'm not saying each and every church, because that is mathematically impossible. You should know this, I, I, like, I, my problem is, I give people the benefit of the doubt where they should know this. Like, if I say, if I say the black church is sending you to hell, which by the way they are, I know for a fact not every church is doing this. But if you think I want to mention, mention the, the Payne AME church down in Tupelo, Mississippi, or if you think I want to mention the African Methodist church up in, you know, Tacoma, Washington, you got me fucked up. I'm not gonna sit there and mention every church that's not doing this. But it's safe to say I could pay I'm not painting with a broad brush. It's called a rhetorical statement. And like I know not every church is doing this, but I'm not like I said, I'm not gonna mention sit down and mention well my church because because this is this, this is especially how the DNC trains you Negroes. They get you guys all worked up where this is this is your specialty, the Negro specialty. Wait a minute, my church doesn't do that. I can tell you five other churches. Shut up and sit down. I know a lot of churches don't do that. I'm not painting with a broad brush. And this goes for anything in life that you see on video. Because a lot of you guys are playing yourself out to be fucking idiots. Because like when somebody says something like, say somebody says something, uh, black church and the black, uh, uh, black lives matter, no way, no, I'll, 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 I'll hear the good one. Cause this, this one was, this one was by a lot of people have done videos and I've said this myself. No way protest protesting this black on black crime. Now, we all know that there has been protests black on black crime. We all, we, I've said this in my videos. We all know that you guys hold hands and say, we shall overcome. And when you do the old left, right march, we all, we, I've said this plenty of times, I know there's dead, there's, but in comparison to like whenever a white person takes a black life, there is no comparison as far as marching. Look, Chicago had a bigger march for the Baltimore situation than they have for the murders in their own city. That's real shit. I'm not lying either, because like they showed it on TV. They showed this big ass march for Baltimore and protesting Baltimore. And I'm thinking in the back of my mind, why don't you protest the average weekend in Chicago? And now, Reverend Al, I hate to say this, now he's only starting getting his comeuppance because New York's about to, New York's turning turning up all of a sudden. And when that's in New York, it's probably Brooklyn anyway. But uh, all of a sudden, there's, like if you're going back to New York, if you go to Brooklyn, there's just shootings left and right. And like, 
And that's what they do. They throw everything on Brooklyn that way. Even though we got the Nets, they can't shoot anything with the little goo the AKs can. But uh, that's a different story for another day. But I'm back to the topic at hand. I, I, I just made the comment about how, um, like, I was, on, I was on a Facebook group, and I'm in lots of Facebook groups. And I made the comment how no, black lives don't matter unless a white person takes it. You know, I said, nobody goes up in arms whenever it's a black on black shooting, whenever the gangbangers are going at it. And one guy goes, well, we protested once. Like, you're proving my point. We protested once. But if it was like, like white cops shooting a black kid, you'd be protesting every time you could. There's a difference, see? And people want to say, like, like and then here's, the, here's the fallacy of some of these idiots. They try to say that the Mike Brown situation is no good, different from black on black crime. No, it's not. Number one, the Mike Brown situation started from black on black crime, the idiots. The police, the police were quick to re release that footage. So how, look, and then, like, like I said, you pick the wrong, if you pick the wrong people to, to, to be your, how, what are those people called again? What are those people called? Whenever martyrs, if you if you pick the wrong martyr, don't get mad at me. But he he shouldn't have been martyred because I can see what he I can see if he was like a like a kid that just went to school, mind his own business, and was getting picked on, and the cops killed him. But this dude had a shady past, and y'all want to make him look like you know suddenly this dude had anger with him. Don't I mean, granted he didn't deserve to be killed, but it's the point of the background of the person also. Like, if I'm out here robbing a rape and out of here, and the police kill me, you know what they're gonna say in my neighborhood? Fucking good for him. He was raping, he was robbing, he was no good. What do you think some of the people in his neighborhood are saying to him so he fucked up? Fuck him. He was robbing me, he was stealing. That is, so uh, it's the sad, honest truth. There's people in that neighborhood that don't feel sorry for him. There's people that are using that as an excuse to go out and loot and protest. But you gotta look to get your fucking shoes. That's that's just embarrassing. Especially when you get caught on camera. But that's another topic for another day. The fact remains, it is still a fact, when I say something, I know it can't be 100% correct, and I know it's not 100% of people do everything. I know this. But, you ignorant people out there, I know this. So don't jump on my back and say, oh, you're using a broad brush or, or, or you're, you're generalizing. I'm using a rhetorical statement, which a lot of black people don't know what it's, a lot of black people don't know what rhetorical means. Here's another, here's another thing I want you to do for tonight's homework. Use this thing with the, with the eyeglass up here, type in rhetorical, and rhetorical, and it's, it's R-H-E-T. O R I C A L statement. Type of rhetorical period. And go from there. That's what you're gonna have to do. Because I'm not doing no more research for you. I've said it before. I'm done doing research for you people. Because if, if I can do my research and I was gonna sit and do more research for me, then I had to do research to prove my research. Like, what, what that man, I was like, and I'm like, well, like a jackass doing this. If you don't believe me, you're going to have to dispel what I have to say. You're going to have to pull up your own research. And if you're too lazy to do that, then shut the fuck up, sit the fuck down, and cry about it. So that's the point I'm at with some of you people. You want to just want to run off at the mouth, and then when I say, well, prove it. Well, you know. No, I don't know. Prove it. And then that's what you guys are. And I just, just shut up, sit down. Because you're nothing. Your opinion, yeah, everybody has an opinion, but you ain't proving nothing to me. So what do you want me to do? Just go sit down, shut up, and live your life. Make your videos, get get your emotions out, do what you have to do. When it comes to messing with me and mine, shut up. Come on, peace. Yeah.